Welcome to the Nevada Real Estate Post. I'm your host, Jeff. I'm your host, Tim. And you know what? We're here to, to wish all of our family, friends, and, and customers a, a very happy Easter. Uh, we're going to discuss today some of the things that's going to be happening this weekend for Easter. And at the end of all this, I want to go over a story that, that kind of talks about Easter and brings it all together. So to start with, Tim has a, an event going on. Yeah, we've got a, a few events that we want to just bring up to you guys. Um, so there's plenty to choose from, but here's a couple big ones. Uh, Town Square, they got the Hop and Shop. It starts on April 4th, goes from 10 till 5. Uh, registration starts at 8 o'clock for the morning sessions. The afternoon sessions, you can register around noon. You're going to go by the valet, by I Love Burgers and the Yard House. That's where you're going to register. So you can either check that one out. Or you could check out in Summerlin on April 5th, which is Sunday, you can go to the Summerlin Community Church. There's our four kids from 4 to 11 years old. It starts at 1030, and they actually have pieces of the Easter story in some of the eggs, which is really cool. They get to learn why we have Easter. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that really, really cool. So, yeah. you know, if you live in the Summerlin area and need something to go check out, check that out, Summerlin Community Church on Sunday. Now, for those outside Vegas, a little bit farther out, you want to go for a drive, you have Spring Mountain Ranch. Spring Mountain Ranch yeah. is doing a great event out there. Uh, it's an Easter egg hunt. It starts at uh, 10 a.m. They're charging $7 a car to get in. There's no extra charge for the egg hunt. One of the things they are asking, though, is, is don't bring your own Easter eggs. Yeah, you that's know? not cool. Yeah, you know, they, they get hit. You know what people do to Exactly. Eggs. And you got a lot of wild animals out there and stuff that may wind up eating them that are left. Yeah, that's So true. they want to make sure they got something safe out there for them. That's so, cool. But take the family. Go enjoy Spring Mountain Ranch. A lot to do out there, you know, after the egg hunt. So now one thing I really want to get into, and, and it doesn't really matter whether you're, what religion, where your faith comes, uh, what you believe, it's, it, Easter is about family. It, it's about people getting together. It, it's, it's about love. You know, it's about peace. That's what Easter is truly about. It's, it's not about a bunny and eggs. I mean, come on, let's, let's get real here. So there's something I want to read that, that I, I came across, and, and it's, it really affected me. And I think Tim and a lot of people that I've, I've said, it's an essay by a Dr. James Allen uh, Francis. So I'd like to read this. It's titled One Solitary Life. Here is a man who was born in an obscure village, the child of a peasant woman. He grew up in another village. He worked in a carpenter shop until he was 30. Then for three years, he was an itinerant preacher. He never owned a home. He never wrote a book. He never held an office. He never had a family. He never went to college. He never put his foot inside a big city. He never traveled 200 miles from the place he was born. He never did any of, the, any of the things that usually accompany greatness. He had no credentials but himself. While still young, the tide of popular opinion turned against him. His friends ran away. One of them denied him. He was turned over to his enemies. He went through the mockery of a trial. He was nailed upon a cross between two thieves. While he was dying, his executioners gambled for the only piece of property he had on earth, his coat. When he was dead, he was laid in a borrowed grave through the pity of a friend. Nineteen long centuries have come and gone, and today he is a centerpiece of the human race and a leader of the column of progress. I am far within the mark when I say that all the armies that have ever marched all the navies that were ever built, all the parliaments that ever sat, and all the kings that ever reigned put together have not affected the life of man upon this earth as powerfully as that one solitary life. Really, from the bottom of our hearts, we want to wish everybody a, a happy Easter. I'm Jeff. I'm Tim. And you know what? Make it a great Easter.